Can you guys feel it? Something feels just a little bit different heading into this week in the crypto market. You know, we're, we're actually seeing some steps forward. We've seen ADA take up a little bit of ground over the course of the weekend. BTC made up a little ground before we're tracing. But everything seems to have this perfect setup as we get into a week that might give us a lot of excitement. Kind of a rinse and repeat of last week, but taking steps even further. I'm Luxide. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new or haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell again. It's free to do. It'll keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So we actually saw ADA climb into the 36 cent range. We're pushing that 100 day moving average. This is looking good. We did have sell zone actually flash on the daily chart in terms of ADA. That's not surprising because ADA right now has quite a bit of momentum working in its favor. Uh, again, even on the hourly, a few of those flashing as we are currently in bullish momentum. Again, if you guys do want to check out my indicator, uh, there is a link in the description below. Seven day free trial on that. And you guys can see that from this move down here in the buy zones to the sell zones. I mean, we're talking moves of four to five percent so this is this is looking very good right now and this is actually coming off the back of btc making a move up into this 69k range yesterday actually getting to about 69.5 before experiencing a little bit of pullback so this test uh, of si above 60 68.5 and, and push towards almost 70k is i think a little bit of a hint of what we might experience during this week as we get into some institutional money some excitement right now when we actually look at the crypto fear greed index you guys can see that we're we've actually climbed into this greed area now a range that we haven't been in, in in quite some time for example i mean we just look at the last year here last time we actually climbed into greed was all the way back here in july the latter part of july as btc made its recovery from the july 4th <clears throat> excuse me, July 4th sell-off and actually push the top of its trend, breaching this for the first time since June. So we we have the, the perfect, perfect setup for this week and momentum may be what actually carries us on to new highs. Now, again, remember, ADA tends to perform its best when there is excitement in the market, when things are in fact moving. We're trying to get out of this period of stagnancy like we talked about yesterday, this, this ADA being stuck narrative is probably gonna be done very shortly here. The second we start to breach out of some of these trends and BTC starts to carry the overall crypto market, that's when ADA is probably gonna have its breakout. And you're gonna see a lot of people that are frankly talking crap about ADA and saying that you know, there's nothing going on and it's going nowhere and things like that. They start to shut their mouths because that's what happened last year as we climbed from October, right? They got very quiet as price was moving to the upside. They got very loud as ADA was dropping. They got quiet as price was moving to the upside. And unfortunately, we've had about a seven month period now where they've been able to just flap their gums and say a lot of crap because unfortunately, nothing in the overall crypto market has been doing quite well. Now that kind of brings me back around to this. You know, we talked about this, this exciting optimism that comes from Charles Hoskinson about, you know, ADA, or Cardano basically being bigger than Ethereum and bigger than Bitcoin in the, the next few decades here. And this analyst from Bloomberg, uh, Eric Bal Balkanis, he's saying that uh, pretty lofty goal, any chance this actually happens? And then he went on to respond to his own tweet and said, clearly no one believes this will happen. Makes me wonder if he really believes what he's saying. And here's the thing, it's, we're in again, a, an, uh, an industry that is in its infancy. Nobody knows what direction this is going to go. Nobody knows what type of evolution is going to happen when it comes to crypto and when it comes to blockchain. But there's one thing that is for sure. The industry is evolving very quickly. When we look at what's taking place now versus this time last cycle, we didn't have big enterprise entering the space. We didn't have institutional money in the way that we do now. We didn't have governments looking at utilizing blockchain technology or utilizing blockchain technology in general, but those are things that are present currently. And when we look at really some of those things that Charles Hoskinson compared to, Bitcoin, Ethereum, it's not really happening for those blockchains. Yes, obviously institutional money is buying BTC, their spot ETF products, right? But when we talk about the actual blockchains themselves, when we talk about is anybody actually building with Bitcoin? N not really. There's kind of pet projects doing that because Bitcoin is old, slow, and dated. All right, that's it's just a fact. It's not um, it's not a, a you know a sentiment thing. It's just there are better technologies that have come out that can facilitate blockchain adoption for the future. Bitcoin's not one of them. Ethereum. Still is a huge gas fee problem. I don't know if anybody's tried to use Ethereum lately, but gas fees are still high. Yes, they have layer twos. Big whoop. 
There's a reason that the door has been left open for emerging technologies, emerging blockchains. And Cardano, because of its tech, because of what it's done during this bear market cycle and now into the bull, it is actually one of the best positioned to get major adoptions from this evolution that's taking place in the industry. And it, it's very difficult for people to see this, especially in the state of Cardano right now, because again, we haven't had that major retail adoption. But again, people tend to confuse the two of those things. Now, again, we don't know whether Charles Hoskinson was talking about, you know, ADA price flipping Cardano and, or I'm sorry, ADA price flipping Ethereum and Bitcoin, or whether he was talking about the blockchain outpacing both. It wouldn't surprise me if both of these things take place. Because remember, as there is more adoption that comes to a blockchain, as there is more that's built with it, as it is used more in general, people tend to look at it in a very different light. And while right now that hasn't necessarily taken place yet, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen, all right? The, the thing I often refer to is, you guys remember back when Amazon was just a bookstore, before it evolved into something much bigger than it is, and it became the, the world's largest online uh, commerce place, right? That's the potential that lies here for Cardano. Nobody knows whether it's going to achieve that potential or not, but it's checking the boxes. We're going through the right steps. You are seeing enterprises. You are seeing governments. You're seeing the important foundational pieces of blockchain adoption happen right now. And we'll see how things look as we approach the end of this cycle. So I appreciate you guys as always. I got off a little bit of a tangent there, but have a great day. Let me know your thoughts below. Do you think Cardano is going to surprise a lot of people. Have a great day. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.